Hey YouTube, what's going on? Dang, it's been a while. I mean, it's been two and a half weeks since I've made a video and I promised myself I'll bust out at least two videos a week. Uh, I haven't kept my word. It's just been very busy. Uh, just wrapping up the year, doing a lot of art stuff. Figured out, you know, work on a couple of videos to share with you guys. So, um, and also I've collabed with uh, Fuller Mo. A preset pack you can use for your designs. A pretty cool pack you can use on some real trippy, cool, like high color designs. I figured I'd show y'all, give you like a little run through of what's available in that pack. So you can go check out Fuller Mo, take a visit and also check out this pack that I worked on with him. It's the Acid Trip pack and it's cool and it's dope. And I'm actually design something today, put the pack into use. Please comment, like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I promise I'll do way more content, you know, because I have a lot to share with you guys. So that's my goal. You know, I'm, I'm going to go hard and I'm going to go ham on it for 2021. Definitely excited to see what you guys come up with uh, with this pack. Please share. Send them to me via social media, Instagram. We'd love to see it. All right. So just real quick. So you go to blending options. This is after you have uh, downloaded the pack. The presets are made to help and or elevate your designs. Let's just dive right into it. I'm gonna skim right through the style pack so you can see what's available. So yeah, maybe now like we can um, put this to the test, see what we can do with it. So, you know, I, I've actually prepped some um, assets for this design. I was, I thought of Little Wayne for this design. So everything is pretty much cut out. Like I don't have to do a lot of cutting out cause I already have, you know, I've already done that. Thought of like a, uh, bootleg style t-shirt, uh, tour shirt, whatever, you know, merch. So I'm thinking black body. Black always works. So my file size is 13 inches by 16 inches, uh, 300 DPI. That's a good like starting point for any type of t-shirt design. Um, I thought of Little Wayne for this one. I already have my assets cut out and stuff like that. So they're right here on my libraries so I, all i have to do is like drag stuff so i'm not gonna really show how to cut images and stuff like that on this one so i figured using some outer space assets maybe like the moon out and then i also have like an outer space galaxy image that we can use that'll be pretty cool so right away i'll the galaxy layer and start working on the moon. I'm going for like purplish, bluish type vibe. Let's apply a gradient map to it. So I'm thinking maybe like uh, blue purples, maybe purples, maybe. And then just uh, clip the gradient map on that layer. Go to the galaxy layer, put it on top. So right now I'm just gonna play with the blending mode to see what we get. You know what? I think I might have to make this. I'm just gonna make it like a, I'm gonna give it a, a hue satch. So go to image, adjustments, hue saturation, uh, colorize, check that in. And I'm gonna give it like a purple. So what it does is just, Instead of like a multicolor image, it'll make it like a two-tone or tritone image. Just kind of, I kind of want to condense the colors for this. Don't want too much going on. And then we can start playing with the blending modes. All right off the jump, this one, the screen looks pretty dope. All right, so now I'll take that layer and then I'll give it a mask. Cause I don't want to like 
you kind of want to brush that in. You don't want to like, I just find it easier to, to like work off of an uh, inverted mask for the, for this type of stuff. It's just the mask. Then you could hit command I to invert it. Then you hit the brush tool. Quick command is B for the brush tool. Um, make sure it's a soft brush. And now you start brushing it in. Okay, so we got our drop pretty much set right there. I might want to do some extra stuff like maybe copy the moon and put it on top of the gradient map and play with the blending mode to see what we get. Damn, that was hot. That should look that looks crazy. So let's just check the other ones real quick. Yeah, I think we got our, like with this, you just kind of know right off the jump. As soon as you see it, you're like, yeah, that's it. So it's color burn. Color burn looks good to me. All right, cool. So now let's bring in Wazy. Boom, Wazy F. And then I kind of want to put them like behind the, the gal outer space, like galaxy layer just to kind of get these little, little overlays it's kind of cool let's get them at a good size right here because i kind of want the text to be over here up here and i kind of want his head to like roll over the text a little bit all right so now i take wayne already cut out um and i start playing with like the camera filter so i go to hit camera filter um Go to the presets on the side right here. It looks like this. And then like play with the, like the punch. I just want to get a really harsh contrast. So that's what I'll do. Like I'll just go to the black and whites and give it a hard black and white contrast. Hit okay. Right, I'll just make another copy of this layer. Command J. So it'll copy on top of that layer. So you go to the bottom wheezy layer and get rid of the camera raw filter you applied. So turn it right back into its original color. And then I'll take the top Wheezy layer that we just, you know, that the camera raw filter is applied to. And I'll start playing with the blending modes to find something good. Cause I kind of want a harsh, like look like this right here, like off the rip, like you already know. I think this is cool. It's starting to look kind of crazy too for something pretty fast. I had to, I had to make my canvas a little bit bigger just to get the text going in there. And I have some flames, like some, some, purple flames chopped up already. So I'll just bring that in here. And I think that'll work right here in the bottom, man. Cause you know, flames, like when it comes to like this type of stuff, like flames, cloud, smoke, lightning, always oh, like amplifies your graphic. Well, I, at, at least to me, cause any type of element is dope. So, especially when they colors like purple. So I'll give it a screen overlay on top of every layer. Just play with position. I don't know. I think this this is looking kind of dope. So I'll leave it right here at that. I already picked my type. And what I did, I, I went with the classic impact type. Let me just drag my type in here. All right. Hit the blending modes. Uh, Make it a color so I can see it. All right, make it white so I can see this thing. Get a nice placement. Lil Wayne, Wheezy F. Baby. The reason why it's, the text is turning purple because I have, I have to clip that gradient map right here. Oops. There you go. Um, what I like to do is maybe like make a new layer on top of them, clip it. Maybe I drop like a purple like a light purple. All right, make a new layer on top of his, uh, the Wheezy layer as a clipping mask, soft light, soft brush, and you just go over them like that. See how like it turns into like a little, nice little purple highlight. It's not a lot, but it's like something. Give it an extra oomph. Let's see uh, if I can give him an inner glow, see what happens. Uh, inner glow, all right, cool. Make the size a little bit bigger and make it like, there you go. Boom. That looks good. Maybe a little too harsh, but I'll bring it down on opacity. All right. So now this is the fun part. 
I had a preset in mind already. It's gonna work perfect with this design. And it will be this one. Damn. Wow. And that one is, uh, I forgot what I called that one. It'd be Lava Lamp. Like, I think it's Lava Lamp High Punch Green. So right now, like, right away, I wanna maybe play with the scale on the, on the, on the stroke with. So that's easy. You hit, you hold control down and click on it. And then you scroll, scroll down to uh, scale effects and then bump it up a little bit. It's always at a hundred percent. So going up, you know, of course you go up and just to lessen it, you go less than a hundred. So um, I want to do like 110 and see how that looks. Yeah, that looks, that looks maybe 115. Yeah, I think that looks better for me. And then like, I like to maybe go into the pattern and then I always snap the origin, like, and then like maybe play with the scale a little bit. Like, you know, every design would, would every design would just depend on like what you're going for. Like, I feel like a lot more black into my text would be great. So that looks cool off the jump. I still got a couple things to do. All right, so I'll take Wheezy. Make sure I'll go on Wheezy layer. Where is it? So I'll just put them in a, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take all the Wheezy layers and then like put them in a, a folder right here, boom. So now I'll just like apply a mask to it and then go to the gradient tool make sure it's black and white and make sure it's on a black swatch the black swatch is on top and i'll just like brush brush it up a little bit yeah. maybe go back to this layer and give it a mask and then play with the gradient on that too there you go that looks kind of cool bring that back a little bit oh yeah, maybe give the purple flames a little arch. What do I can do with that? Um, and negative 50. Let's see how this looks. Bring it up. No, I kind of like it flat. No, I kind of like it with the... Way better. And then maybe make it a little bigger. I'm good with that. That's kind of fresh. Maybe maybe take this and play with this scaling a little bit. Kind of fresh. Yeah, it's kind of cool. I like that. 